Buckley's accomplishment is to have emerged from two large, colorful shadows as very much his own writer and very much his own man. And I can certainly vouch for that, and so will you when you meet him. Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Buckley. So, Christopher, as I see it, that you wrote your last 14 books uh, out of choice, but Losing Mom and Pop was really the first book that you felt you had to write, that you really almost wrote sort of in a, in a, in a kind of one-shot mood of, of, I have to get this on paper. Can you, is that right? Well, I hadn't planned to write it. Um, it's not a comic novel, exactly. Indeed. But I went through this experience, as we uh, all, all do, I suppose, uh, of, of losing uh, my parents uh, sort of back to back. <clears throat> and um, uh, one day I, I just sat down and, and, um, and started writing it. And it, I'm not a particular, I make no claim to being a facile writer as my editor, John Karp, who is, I think, here, will, who's, who's with whom I've done uh, eight books and who's, <laughs> whose basic job consists of saying to me, no, <laughs> no, definitely no. But he's a very treasured uh, collaborator, John Carp. And it just sort of poured out, and I wrote it in 40 days. Nothing biblical is intended by that, but I... <laughs> 40 days and nights, with all those animals in that boat. Um, he was pretty difficult frankly, to have as a father, was he not? I mean, the book is, is incredibly candid about the sort of tremendous self-involvement, really, of these, of these amazing people. I mean, inevitably, they had both had big egos. They were both kind of wrapped up in themselves. And for you, as their only child, uh, you didn't, uh, there were times when you, you, you pretty much felt you had to kind of fight for for your life in that setup, as you describe. Well, uh, I'm, the, I'm the Park Avenue Frank McCourt. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, poor little me. Uh, you know, they were very loving and, 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 and wonderful parents, but they were also very large personalities. And, you know, <laughs> I found, uh, while I was writing the book, uh, I came across a quote by uh, Carlyle, and it goes like this, give me my own way exactly in everything, and a sunnier, more pleasant creature does not exist. <laughs> so it's the solipsist's credo, you know. <laughs> and it's not bad. And, you know, Pup was, um, you know, a little bit, he was the star of his own movie, and they, um, and she was, a, she was a co-star in his movie. And sometimes that, uh, uh, sometimes that, uh, sometimes that was awful. Uh, <clears throat> well, I have to say there was but, a couple uh, of stories in there which took my breath away. I mean, yeah. the story of when, on your graduation from Yale, when your father got bored halfway through and uh, took the family party off somewhere else for lunch, that sort of stopped me in my tracks, <laughs> leaving you to wander around on your own? Looking. Well, you know, the, I, I was in the B's, you know, you got the diplomas, and I, about, around right about the, I think, D's, he just decided, okay, you know, let's go. And, but he didn't tell me, and uh, so I spent the whole day wandering around the Yale campus. Has, have you seen my bomber? You know? And I ended up having my graduation lunch alone at the Yankee Doodle Diner. Oh, but... Oh, yeah. um, no, it's, you know, look, well, I was, well, I was, it actually wasn't so funny at the time, you know. Uh, he was, uh, he, he was, he was really famously impatient. Do you now, uh, are you glad you endorsed Obama? Do you feel good about your endorsement? Well, are I'm kind of stuck Do you want to recant? Well, I've written in your, uh, uh, you know, in, 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 on your website that I think this spending is going to bite us in the ass. You know, I mean, I, I like Obama. I think he's, he's set a marvelous tone. But these, this is, you know, we talk about sustainability. Sustainability is the big buzzword. Sustainable energy, sustainable this. But this spending is not sustainable. You know, you, he's, he's proposing and he's going to uh, double the national debt in four years. Anyone here think that's a great idea? No. Um, it's, this, is, this is math. This isn't ideology. And then once we get through this caca, 
then we have a very big caca coming, and it's called Social Security. Uh, there are uh, $77 trillion in unfunded liabilities coming down the line. That's money that the government has committed to spend that it doesn't have coming in. So, you know, I think this is... I don't, I don't get it. I have to, he's smarter than I am. I have to think Larry Summers is smarter than I am. Timothy Geithner, not so smart about the taxes, but, uh, but these are all very smart people. I don't get how they can project that the economy is going to be growing 4.3%. Uh, uh, I, I don't, and, and one thing I think we've learned in the last recent years is that the smartest people in the room weren't so smart. You know, Alan Greenspan. Yeah, we've had a lot of geniuses who have taken us down the road to ruin. That is certainly true. Well, of course, it's Have you just been handed a telegram I've just, or something? I've just been handed. It's another joke. Joe, Joe Biden has said, don't leave the 92nd Street Y. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here. And Buy now, books. We're turning this over, guys. We're turning this over to the new questions that are coming out of this audience tonight. And in fact, it, it leads very nicely onto what we were just talking about because... If we are feeling that Obama may have perhaps taken a slightly uh, different road from the one you expected, this question is, are there any Republican candidates that you feel optimistic about for 2012? No. <laughs> I'll just say to you, Chris, is, is um, you know, the thing, the joy and fun, a lot of joy and fun in your parents' lives. I mean, do you think, do you think that you've had, you know, when you look back on your career up to now, have you had as much fun, you think, as your old man had, had in, in, in his world of letters, or do you think that that world has sort of vanished? Well, I've always had fun hanging out with Tina Brown. <laughs> That's a good place this to end. She's a great lady. That's a good thing. That's a good place to end. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christopher. And yes. Thank you very much to the Y. Uh, to our friend Bud, where are you, Bud? Where are you, buddy? For uh, sponsoring so generously the evening. And uh, to all of you for coming.